South Florida. There's a look at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Today we hit double digits week 10 and we've got a good one in store as it'll be the Buffalo Bills taking on the Miami Dolphins. The shadows starting to get a bit longer. Week 10 of the NFL season is here, and we're underway on EA Sports. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. They'll take that 14 yards on play number one. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that now. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give them the yardage that they needed, but they really want him to be that guy, and that's what they're doing early in this game. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. 47. Prescott to throw it. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. So, CD, you look at this offense and what they've been able to do. 8-0, perfect through the first two months of the year. Second half of the season still to come. We get that. But what kind of a percentage chance do you think that they have of running the table? Parker, I think it's hard to say because history would tell us that the chances aren't good at all. We've seen a lot of good teams get to this point, and then they have that one bad week and takes them out of the running. I'm going to say 25%, and I feel like I'm being generous with that number. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Prescott from the gun on third. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Okay, look at this. The punt team nowhere to be found. They're on the sidelines. Offense going to go for this on the opening drive. An audible here to get a new look. Fourth down, Prescott. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game, and this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon.
First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Going to run again here with Pollard. Fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. It's a gain of maybe three, but it's going to leave him with still about eight or nine to go on third down. This defense for the Dolphins very strong in that victory a week ago. It was a little bit enlightening talking with the defense coordinator about their performance last week because the feeling was that it was a good, solid performance. They did what they needed to do to get the job done and get the win, but definitely a few lapses that they're looking to correct. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. Throw right side, hold in by Dobbs. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. It's a gain of 13 and a Buffalo first down. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes it's just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. They'll fake the give. Now gone. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. Pollard will take it up the gun. An agile move and a nice game, then dropped at the 25-yard line. And that gets back some of what they needed, but they're still stuck here with a third and 13. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him, so when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That is caught. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Uh, that's a sharp throw right there on third down. They're looking to get the first points of the game, and they certainly don't want to be on a field goal. So that's a nice job to get the hook up and set up a first and goal. Pollard is in. Touchdown, Bills. Point after try, forthcoming. And it's 7-0 Buffalo. Next the score, Bill 7, Dolphins nothing. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And you figure this should be a healthy, arrested, a focused unit, and they're working on a good winning streak. They had the week off last week. This is really a team charge that should be in top four. I agree absolutely with that. What coaches worry about, what organizations worry about, though, is overconfidence. They've been playing so well, and now they've had that extra time off. And we've seen teams come back off the open week and come out flat. So what a lot of good coaches do is they kind of game plan for that with their teams. On defense, they may blitz more in the beginning to get them going. On offense, they may go more up-tempo. Anything to get them out of that lethargy right at the beginning. Here's Jones again on second down. And he'll fight for a couple as the tackle is made at about the 32. Here's third and three. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he goes out right around the 39. All right, so they got that one, Charles, against the center. 
And let's remember how difficult it is for the center because remember, he's got to snap the ball to put the play in motion. And sometimes you got that big guy on your nose. You got sometimes where he's coming at you at an angle. It's a difficult job for him to snap the ball and then execute his block. The Bills bring out a couple of extra defensive backs to defend this third down play. Yeah, they're going dime. Now a timeout called for by the defense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Third down and 10. Now Prescott going to change the play. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Toward the sideline, intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And I think this is a situation where a quarterback coach in the sideline is going to talk to a signal caller and say, listen, it's third and long and it's still early in the game. Let's not force things here. If we don't feel good about it, let's just check something down and pump the football. handoff to Pollard and they went the wrong way there losing yardage back at the 43 yard line two yards the loss second and 12 the running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half and I don't think it's all been his fault his offensive line hasn't given him much space a loss results there After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. The Bills with the football as we start quarter number two, as they've got it second down and twelve. something here on third down. Here's gone. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Goff now to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Touchdown! A great effort there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Bills have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Extra point right down the middle. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. 14. Dolphins nothing.
The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's see if they can do better here on this drive. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Hey, kill, kill! Kill, kill! An inside give to Jones. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. 44 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. Now a first down carry by Jones. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. Here now, second and four. Hey, hey, kill, 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 kill. The handoff to Ford up the middle. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Again, they turn to Ford. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. They get six on the pickup there as the drive continues. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 18 big yards on that one, and a Miami first. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. From the red zone now, Prescott. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, this is a half for not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. Second and 10. They go back to the ground with Jones. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times. And what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. They'll come up now, third and nine. And Prescott is going to change things up here. He'll look to throw. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked by Julian Love. And the Bills are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. And when a team advances as far as they did, got over the 50-yard line, don't you think that drive deserved a better ending? 
I think he needs to get with his coaches on the sidelines, make some immediate adjustments, and that's what you do. You don't wait. You do it from series to series because drives like that, the end with a turnover, that's multiple times they picked him off already in this opening half. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside, and so many times defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now gone. He finds his man, Pollard. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. 23 yards on the play. Boy, a lot of moving parts on this play, but what a nice design to leak the running back out to the left and send him down the field. And a good job spotting him and hitting him for a big play. Good plays have them on the move on first down. Out of the gun to give to Pollard. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Second and nine from the 44. Two, two. Two up. Yes, sir. Yes, our one. Two for one. Two for one. Nine. Out of the gun. Gone. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Bills. Tony Pollard, his 10th touchdown of the season, second of the game. And the Bills will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. The extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 21 to zip. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. At their own 24 yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. Working the middle here, that's complete to Knox, the tight end. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. First and 10 at the 42 yard line. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. And that is not what you expect from a receiver of his caliber. Sometimes you get a little ahead of yourself, 
You don't look it in, and all of a sudden it's on the ground. A surprise to all. Here's second and 10. Here we go, 47. Looking to throw, Prescott. And now he'll fire deep downfield for James. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Trying to get something positive to happen here before the break, and they sure need it. They went for the big one, but it winds up incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. They'll throw again. Prescott slings this deep from McLaurin. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. And they've been kept off the scoreboard in this first half, but here toward the end, they're trying to change that in one fell swoop, but that winds up incomplete. And likely time for one final play here in the half, so they will go for it on fourth down. They'll go with Jones. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. Bills with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. And the half will begin with a touchback. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. So a little tardy getting everyone set, and the clock hits zero before they could snap it. Yeah, you can take your time and use the clock and try and get set up, but once it gets near five seconds, that's when you often hear a quarterback yelling, hurry, hurry, to make sure everybody's ready to get the snap off. Second down, Pollard again. Limited running room as he'll get about three to the 21. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. Here 
They need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. On third down, it's Pollard. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time, forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. Here's J.K. Scott now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. Yeah, not a great one there. Out of bounds in the air. And the offense is going to be set up already in enemy territory inside the 45. Prescott looks to throw on first. The left side completion to Jones. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. On second down, it's Jones. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. And they're going to speed things up here. First down, Prescott. And that is incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. Kill, kill. 47. 46. Prescott now. Looking left side and it's complete. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five yard line. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football right now. I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Jones. We'll take this in for the Dolphin touchdown. And that's a step in the right direction. This had to be one of those turning point kind of drives. If you come up empty there, it could be a long road back. But they put some here and hung around, and they close the gap here in the third quarter with their first touchdown of the game. It's up, it's good, and that'll cut the lead to 21 to 7. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Their lead down from 21 to 14, but still sitting in a great spot. Up two scores here in the third quarter. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Getting a sense that the momentum of this game is changing since the break. Nice play there, and this D is fired up. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Tiger, Tiger. 
A shotgun snap for Goff. So going for Jefferson downfield. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. BC, BC. Rick Flair. Now flags will come in. One of the Bills got going a little early. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. Here's gone. Oh, what a read on the outside as it's intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byard. So a potential momentum shifter there, working with a two-score lead third quarter, but that, not the smartest of throws. I would agree with you on that one because this game is still very much in the balance. It felt pretty one-sided to this point, but now if these guys can turn this turnover into points, things could start getting a little more interesting. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. From the 32-yard line now, here's second down at seven. Off the play fake, Prescott. This is caught. It's Cooks. And they move this all the way down to the nine. 23 yards, the final tally. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there. And now they're looking at a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now Jones. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. They'll try again with Jones. And he'll work his way closer to the goal line as he's got five down to the three. Sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two-score game, second half. You're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. And yeah, not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. They'll try and run it in with Jones. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. Hill Jones with now 15 rushing touchdowns on the year. And the Dolphins are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. So the rushing touchdowns continue to stack up CD. That now 15 for him on the year. They give a ton of credit for staying healthy, being a smart runner, and is showing just how important he's been to his team. He's got to be their MVP at this point in the season. And those votes may have turned into league MVP votes when it's all said and done. Extra point try, good by Gano. And they're back with it, a touchdown at 21-14. Touchdown here to kick it away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Buff 
Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. A little jerk. And we'll get this up just shy of the 30. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them. Melt the clock down. Get to the fourth quarter. Try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and six, just inside the 30. Here's Pollard again. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 42 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation when they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Goff now looks to throw. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Jared Goff with his third touchdown pass of the afternoon. And the Bills are about to make it four straight as they add to this fourth quarter advantage. That's a pretty quick response to that last touchdown drive, and it seemed like they had maybe given up momentum. Uh, not so fast. No, not at all, because they ended up pushing the lead up once again, and you're exactly right. Thought momentum might have been shifting. Instead, they grabbed old Mo, didn't let him get to the opposite sideline. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. A good balance attack for that last touchdown drive they had. Now it's time to see if they can do that again. It really becomes a tale of two play callers, doesn't it? The offensive guy, he's in sync. Everything is working pretty well for the defense. Yeah, what's guy. going on on the defensive now side? That's a tough one because he's prepped all week as well, and he can't get a bead on exactly what they're doing right now. What he needs is one of his guys just to make a big play and disrupt things. A second down throw for Prescott. This one swung out here to Jones. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Dolphins first down. First and 10 at the 46-yard line. They were going to 53. They were going to 54. Wide in. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. Has his man, that's James. Down the left sideline. Touchdown, Dolphins! Richie James, 64 yards. And the Dolphins have made it a one score game again here in the fourth. So that's a really big play here in the fourth quarter. And don't look now, they're right back in this game. Did it feel to you as it did to me? 
that maybe they were a little bit soft in what they were lining up with on defense. Almost like they were protecting the lead rather than trying to make a play. And now that lead is down to just one score. Touchdown here to kick it away. Now this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Things sure were looking good for them at the half. Heck, off the air, you and I were just saying they might run away with this thing and cruise to a victory. Not anymore. Yeah, the cruise control has to be off at this point. Now you've got to match the gas yourself. Again, who's going to step up and make a big play for you? Who's going to take care of business now that you're being pressed? It is definitely go time for them at this moment. All of a sudden clinging to a slim lead and hoping to hold on to that lead. play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Super. 12. From the gun, here's gone. Man open, that's Calvin Ridley. And he'll be forced out of bounds all the way down at the 25-yard line. A big play here for Buffalo. 52 yards. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. He will push his way down to about the 14. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. Second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. Four down. Hey, kill, kill. They run straight ahead here with Connor. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. Touchdown! Romeo Downs, a 
15-yard touchdown. And the Bills have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead now up to 14. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be taken in just shy of the goal line. Fair catch will move this out to the 25. Here's first and ten. Now Dak, he's going to mix it up. Now Prescott. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. That was one they needed to connect on. They're down, but not quite out. So you have to figure, with under two minutes to play, they need to hit on something in very short order. Here's Dak. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Eddie Jackson picks it, and the return here will go to the 31-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Goff going to throw it. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Back to the air, Goff on second down. And that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Four down. 76. 76. Throwing on third, golf. And this one is incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. And this one is right down Broadway. So after five touchdowns offensively, hey, maybe it's time to get the kicker a little work, and he's able to connect there. I love that empathetic side of you. You're worried about him getting some action, getting to be a part of the game. Well, he got in and got it done. Here's the Bills' kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And that unbeaten record very much in jeopardy. It's been a great first few months of the season so far, but they have run into a buzzsaw here, trailing big in the fourth quarter. 
Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. What we just saw there, that's really been a common theme all afternoon. A lot of pressure. That forced the Aaron pass. He's been under duress this entire afternoon. He just had to unload that when he's fortunate. It was just incomplete and not intercepted. A second down throw for Prescott. And his throw here is incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now Prescott. That's to the sideline and incomplete. Uh, defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game. And that was a big talk, both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them, holding them under 200 today. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. We'll call it a 42-yard punt, three on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, CD, this is the ideal situation the fourth quarter. You come out here late, not much time on the clock with a comfortable lead and put the final nail in the coffin. Yeah, this offense, all game long, they've been powerful, they've been dangerous. You're exactly right. They can end this one on their own drives. So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills, and maybe more importantly, a victory in the division, which always helps. And on the road.